welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look right here. I've been bringing you guys a lot of soft glams, which I personally don't mind, but you guys know my love for color. So we are back with the colorful, bold, dramatic glam. I am obsessed. I did a look very similar to this one, which I will post a photo right here on the screen so you guys can see what that look looked like. It was so beautiful and I knew I wanted to recreate it in orange and yellow and I am obsessed. I hope you guys are too. I'm not using really anything new in today's video. I'm using products that I love and I'm also using my Be Perfect palettes. I know. But listen, I was dipping my toes back into color and what better way than to use palettes that I know that I love and I know perform excellent so that's what we're going to be doing for today's video i hope you guys are excited before we jump in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further ado if you would like to see how i created this really fun blown out makeup look today then just keep on yes let's go ahead and get started with this look i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit all over the place because my sd card got full story of my life but anyways we're gonna be using the carnival love tahiti palette of course i'm gonna go into the shade sundown and i'm gonna go ahead and pack that into my crease and of course make it as pigmented as possible definitely take your time with this because you want to try to get the color to look exactly how it looks in the pan on your eye so moving on to the next shade i'm gonna go into mango you guys can see these shades get a lot of love because they are amazing i'm gonna take this on a blending brush and of course use that to kind of diffuse that harsh edge that i've created and then i am gonna go into the shade yellow which i did not show you guys in the palette but it's a beautiful yellowy orange shade and I am taking that on another fluffy brush and just going ahead and diffusing that harsh line. And then I was like, okay, I need a really pretty color that's going to help kind of deepen this up. So I decided to go in with a little bit of red. This shade right here called the Blaze is incredible. So I took that on a little small blending brush. This is actually the Morphe M506 and I'm just packing that into my crease just trying to really intensify everything. I wanted this look to be really vibrant. So now I'm going to jump into the Carnival XL Pro Palette. I'm going to be taking this shade right here which is called Reckless. It's a really pretty burgundy shade and it was the perfect shade to give me just a little bit of depth to this eye look but not have to use black. I didn't want it to be too intense and I didn't want to take away from the vibrancy of the orange and yellow. So going in with the shade like this it just really makes it pop and give it dimension without making it too dark if that makes sense so this brush that I'm using right here is actually clean and has no product on it besides the product it's picking up from blending but this is what your blend should look like so now I'm gonna go in with my micellar water you guys always ask which one I use it's this one right here from Garnier it's specifically the one with the pink cap and then I'm gonna take that on a q-tip and just start to carve out my halo eye now you guys can see from this clip I do a halo eye very different. I've never seen anyone do a halo eye the way that I do it and to be honest it is more work but also it gives you such a clean halo eye. So most people go in and they basically apply the darkest shade to the inner corner and outer corner and they usually just cut just the center of the eye but you guys can see here I actually do a full half cut crease. By the way I did use blank canvas from P. Louise to go ahead and do that full half cut crease and now I'm going in with my spotlight shade which is that center lid color and this is from the Carnival XL Pro Palette. It's the yellow one in that palette and then I'm going to go back in with each shade that I used in the crease on the outer and inner corner. So I started with the outer corner first. I'm going in with that burgundy shade. Then of course I'm going to go in with the orange and then I went in with the lighter orange and I also mixed a little bit of the red. I know a lot going on but like I said basically all the same shades I used in the crease I did use to deepen up that halo eye. I will say my little trick is to constantly go back in with your spotlight shade just to make sure that you're kind of not overwhelming it because you really want that to be the first eye-catching color that people see when they look at your eye look that's really the point of a halo eye so I went ahead and did the same thing in the inner corner I'm just packing on each shade and again if you feel like it's not too blended or as blended as you would like try to go in with a blending brush and just kind of diffuse the shades into one another I feel like that helps me a ton so now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and apply a little bit of black liner a super thin black line against my lash line this is just so that way when I apply my false lashes you don't see any of those colors peeking 
peeking through and then after that I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes with an eyelash curler just make sure everything is nice and prepped so we can apply our falsies for mascara I'm going in with the Patrick Ta Beauty mascara it's been my go-to lately and I actually like it a lot and then I just went ahead and popped on my lashes and now we're gonna get into the complexion all right you guys hello Welcome to today's video. Even though you've already seen the intro, the look, the eye portion, well half of the eye portion, but I figured it'd be fun for me to do a talk through for the face makeup. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I already applied primer and that is because I use this Dior primer. I've had this in my collection forever and if you guys are not on TikTok, there's a TikToker. Her name is Meredith Duxbury. She's actually the face of Morphe's not last collection, I think they just dropped like a bronze collection, but the one before that where they launched the blushes, I'm pretty sure you guys know who she is. Like she went viral on TikTok for doing the insane amount of foundation. If you don't know who she is, I will put her on the screen, probably like right here somewhere so you guys can see. By the way, if my hair falls out of this clip, let's just ignore it. I've tried to put it up like 10 times. I'm just trying to get it out my face to be able to do this face makeup. But anyways, back to the primer. I put on the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow. She just recently posted a TikTok using this and I was like, wait a minute, I have that in my collection and I don't remember ever trying it. And you guys, look at the glow that I gave my skin. So beautiful. Let's move on. So I already applied primer. I'm going to go in with foundation. I decided to really look at my collection and bring out a foundation that if you guys have been following me for a while, you know this was like one of my holy grail foundations. It is so beautiful and I wanted to use it today. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I wanted to see what my thoughts would be on it now because I haven't used it in a while. So this foundation is pretty cool because... It does have a pump at the top, but you can completely open it. And it does have a doe foot applicator, which is amazing. And so this one is in the shade MG5. So I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. I used to wear this foundation all the time. Okay, well, it's definitely giving matte. Or is it just me? Like, I don't remember this foundation being so matte. I think it's because it's so full coverage. Yeah, I think these days I go for more of a glowy, dewy foundation. Um, but it's really beautiful and the coverage is insane. For cream bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick in the shade Happy Soul. And I'm going to be taking that on my Fenty 125 face brush. Alright you guys, for concealer, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. This is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I use mine in the shade 4 Fair. Haven't used this baby in quite a while. So I'm going to just blend this in. You guys know I love this concealer so beautiful has really great coverage the only thing that sucks is the packaging but other than that the formula is phenomenal and i will continue to purchase it because the formula is just incredible all right you guys so to set underneath my eyes i'm gonna go in with the elf halo rude i'm gonna go in with the elf halo glow setting powder i have been really into this powder as of recently and I really do like it, so I'm going to go in with this, and it's also talc-free. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Kosa's Cloud Set Powder in the shade Feathery. I do need to get a darker shade in this, but because I feel like that documentary came out about the talc, like literally every product that's talc-free right now at Sephora is sold out. So the shade that I need in this powder is currently sold out. So, I'm making this shade work, which is fine. It's just a little bit light, but I'm just lightly dusting it on the skin. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Bronzing Palette. And I'm just going to be dipping into these three shades right here and bronzing my skin because, honey, we are looking pale. And I'm really going to not go too heavy with the bronzer, but I'm going to kind of go in with the bronzer because I'm going to be doing such a bold blush. Um, have you guys seen the documentary on Netflix called Our Father? You guys, I'm shook. Okay, if you haven't seen it, watch it if you're into documentaries. It's about a doctor, um, a fertility doctor specifically, who actually used his semen on his patients. And he, I'm not even going to tell you the amount of kids he created in the world. You, like, need to watch it. The documentary is literally insane. Like, you... If you're into stuff like that, definitely watch it and then let me know what you guys think. And also, if you've seen it already, let me know in the comments. What did you think about it? Because I was like, oh my god, I was shook. Every single time like a new sibling came up, I was just like, 
Like, this man created an army. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Cream Blush in the shade Swoon. I love this color. It's a beautiful orange blush. I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna go in with this. And then over top of that, I'm gonna go in with this P. Louise Blush Palette. I've had this in my collection and I have not used it yet and oh my goodness look at these colors how beautiful and of course I'm gonna go into this one up here for my powder blush today and I'm gonna be using the Morphe E4 brush just going to literally like take the blush and just like take a little bit on my brush this is really pigmented by the way see like I'm gonna tap it on the back of my hand Honestly, by far, out of all the collections, she's dropped the Bougie Rouge collection, which was like the big blush collection, was my favorite. I feel like that one was just like iconic from the campaign photos to the packaging to the quality. So good. Okay, so cream blush is on. So that basically is it as far as complexion for now. So I'm going to do one eye off camera as usual, and then I'm going to zoom you guys back in so we can finish up the lower lash line on this eye. And then I'll show you guys how I like to blend in my eyeshadow. Was Let's go ahead and finish up this lower lash line. So I first went in with this Norvina liner. And you guys, I was a little bit disappointed in the pigment. I really had to rub it against my waterline. To be honest, it was just making my eyes really, really watery. So I decided to go over top of it with my LA Girl Neon Liner in Screamin'. This is the yellow one. You guys know I live for these. They're so good and super pigmented. It's not like the Norvina one. So that's why my liner today looks a little bit like orange yellowish um, it's just because I had to mix the two and then I just went back in with the orange and then kind of just blew it out and that was basically it right, you guys so of course my camera stopped recording and I just checked the footage because I needed to transfer some footage from my SD card to my desktop so I can delete it off the SD card and use it I really need to invest in like five SD cards but when I watched the last clip like you literally didn't see anything I did as far as blowing it out so I just want to explain it really quickly I went in with the same orange eyeshadows that I used in the crease and I basically took them on a big brush which is this one right here this is the Morphe M530 brush and you guys can see it's definitely way bigger than your average like blending brush you guys can see the difference and i literally just tap the slightest bit of eyeshadow on it and then i just go in and kind of just like tap it out like so it's going to diffuse that orange but also give you that really beautiful blended look like it did very pretty and then i just went in and did my lower lash line which you guys kind of saw and then for my actual blush that's kind of over here in this area i went in like i said with that p louise palette and i went into this beautiful orange blush right here you guys saw the look on its own without blowing it out like this and making it super dramatic it is so beautiful you could just keep it as a rounded shape on the outer corner and that would be absolutely gorgeous but you guys know i'm extra okay, so for my lips i just went in with my kkw lip liner in nude number two added my laura lee and liquid lipstick in the shade nakey nakey and that was the lip combo i'm so obsessed with this look i really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys